Warning, this video is intended for audiences who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Tariq Bali, hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey, alright. Hey, look, look, it's the last episode for the oh, first half, first of, half season of the season two. Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's, right. let's burn the candles gotta, and light the incense. We gotta summon, we gotta summon William. I'm right here, you know. Oh, go, oh, go, hey, go, 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 William, go. Come on back, come on back. Ouija board, go, 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 go. William, come back. William, come back. William, come back. Summon, 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 William. Summon, William. All right, you know what? I'm about to crash my car into a car. It worked! It worked! I'm gonna fucking do. You're about to crash into a car? I don't think that's a good idea. specifically into Austin's car. And then oh, I'll crash into your car. <laughs> oh, trust me, you can't do it. It can't. You, he, have fun finding it. It's Wait, not. Wait, hold on. What happened with your car? Is there is there more to it now? I thought it was just no. Fun and over it's with. just still in the shop. It's so, still in the shop. I haven't decided what what form of hell I I want to choose. Do I get a new engine? Do I have them take apart the engine? Do I just give up on life and buy a new car? I don't know. Fuck me! Huh. That sounds... You, you really probably should just get a new car at that point, honestly. It, feels, it feels like you're just having it in the hospital and you just need to pull the... Yeah! It. Yeah, I am! But you know what the difference is? Unlike my boss, I didn't decide to just live at the fucking mechanic's house and fucking wait until the fucking car dies. I didn't decide to live at Volvo and just fucking keep wearing the Volvo. I don't know how to make this comparison better. Don't. <laughs> yeah, not really sure where you're going with that one. Very confused. Look. Anyways, I dropped my phone down a mail chute. That a did what? happen yesterday. A what? Like, a mail chute. Like, oh, our office mail. building. Okay. You put oh. the mail in the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Close it. And then the huh. mail goes somewhere. Well, wait, it goes to the basement or something? Or to the yeah. mail room? Oh, to right? the mail room. Yeah. And apparently, yeah. nobody has a key to the mail room except for the postman. <laughs> I mean... That, I mean, technically, that wouldn't make tracks, sense. Yeah. I mean, apparently, right. the security guards even didn't have keys, and that just seems like a fucking security flaw. Yeah, I mean, that's also a security flaw, but it makes sense for only the mail person, right? Because I assume it's that to like a like a UPS, United States Postal. It's, it's technically a USPS post right, yeah, office yeah. So, yeah, down so there. So it makes sense for like for like only um like like those type of people to have to have sure. the key, right? Yeah, but you expect like, like, the convenient. building manager to have one. Even then, that it seemed like they were saying, unless I misunderstood, it was just like they were literally like nobody but only the postman. Only the postman has the key, and only when he shows up can you have your phone back. <laughs> Between <laughs> two and four. Sometime in those two PM hours. Or AM. <laughs> what the fuck do you think? I don't know. I've seen post people come get stuff at two a.m. When? Who? What? Who, what? Oh, when is U.S. Like the actual post office stuff? I, I see them do stuff at, at like two two a.m. What have you what been doing at two a.m.? What has he been doing at two a.m. around a post well, office? Well, to be fair, that's uh, to be fair, that's uh, when some mail comes and it gets sorted, right? You know. Uh, right. Uh, but hey, 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 hey! Look, we got Willie back. Uh, we got the ghost of uh. We got William um, back. We got my phone back. We got William here. back. We got the phone back, but. Is this really William, yes. or is this just is... a copycat? Okay. Uh oh. No, I don't like you right now. Is this I William? Could just leave. Is this William being leave. brainwashed? You could, That's but you shouldn't. Yeah, but you uh, you've no. got you've got back pay that you gotta work on. You got back pain that I have to work on. Back pay. Back pay. What am I paying yeah. back? <laughs> Do you know how much fucking goddamn Don Brothers I had to take part in? Well, you I know. will fucking stab you <laughs> if you run away. <laughs> okay, well, uh, uh, l stab uh, him in the foot so he can't run. So, so Austin, it looks like I won't be coming over uh, to record on Tuesday. All right. Uh, uh -huh. I think, okay. I think we need okay. Tariq to cover the next Dawn Brothers episode. All right. I will oh, dox okay. you <laughs> solely for my own purposes, so that I can find you and smash your kneecaps in. Oh my god! I will. I Wait, will that's not how fucking works. Right. Doxing. It's reveal. I mean that I'll once I find your address, I'll 
put it out there, and then... Right, look, I'm pretty uh, sure if Tariq were to message David right now, asking for William's address, <laughs> David will 100% reply with, with William's address. That's pretty true, actually. Actually, I could get a lot of information. That's a good idea, Austin! Austin, you son of a bitch. I swear to mm, God. Boy, you better get, get some mail. <laughs> better get some mail, William. You're about to get some pamphlets, oh, some oh, brochures. Yeah, no. no, 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 he's not gonna get a brick. I've, I know people who did that. That's, uh, the, you don't do that. That, that's a whole mess. You don't want to do that to somebody in their parents' house. That's a whole problem. It is. Hey, but you know what? What we will do is this weekly unnamed Tokusatsu podcast series about Power Rangers Dino Fury Season 2. And we'll be discussing Ryan Austin, who, brother, who tries to find a way to segue to this to this bit. <laughs> and through every part of my friend move. That's who, he a person it. who's about to have a burning cross in front of his house. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> hold on. Whoa, hold on. The latest Wait, episode of feels... Dino Fury Season 2. Hey, this is episode 11. The copycat hey slug hey listen we slug people have had enough discrimination from burning crosses that we would never leave a burning cross in someone else's home I, uh, a right. flaming turd in a bag oh now that's oh, different mm -hmm. yeah yeah right that's ew. yeah you know what i don't i don't care to know why people do these things i'm just gonna ignore it and think this is all made well up. racism is the one for the <laughs> cross yeah well it's something you no, never experienced cross, yeah, all okay. right yeah something you're anyways if you're prepping for a competition maybe don't like show off the thing that you're using outside everywhere all the time hey oh uh, yeah <laughs> only some people would know that he is practicing for the big song of fun. All right. Either way, you're going around fucking singing your Boy, fucking hey, song. Boy, hey, I and... forgot that trip. Uh, was it Chance Perez? I think is the actor's name, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's a boy band, right? right? No, they he definitely, like they definitely hired him. Band. Like he definitely got the role specifically for like musical chops. Right? Yeah. Do 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 they do they do they they wrote this bit, this whole story like, because of his background? They're all like, oh boy, hey, we can I use think... his background. I think that similar to because if you think about original Power Rangers, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't something where they taught these kids like martial arts. They hired actors that did martial arts. Yeah. Whether yeah. they were good at it, up to debate. But mm -hmm. they hired ones that had some background in martial some arts. Level of confidence. Yeah. I assume that they hired these actors based off of, like, characters that they already had in mind. And so they needed someone who could play a musician role, so they looked for someone with a musical talent. They played someone that was queer, so they chose uh, uh, someone who's willing to play, like, a, a queer character. Uh, they chose someone who was an asshole, so they picked <laughs> Ion, Ollie... Uh, a bit of Zato, um, also Izzy, um, sometimes Amelia. Amelia's really just sad. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much why they chose who they chose. Yeah. Uh, so I'm assuming that they didn't make this episode for Chance Perez. They made this character, and Chance Perez was the one they went... You're yeah, the most musical to, boy that we can find. Credentials, right? Yeah. They didn't have to get a like, get like a voice, like a dub voice for when mm -hmm. they're like, oh, oh, this is better. Yeah. No, they no. didn't. They didn't Millie Vanilli or Ashley Simpson this. Mm -hmm. Even though I was really looking forward to finding like the Millie Vanilli Ashley Simpson of it all, especially when Pop Pop has his moment. Mm -hmm. I think Pop Pop was definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely playing. Oh, that was super ADR'd and with backing shit around him. Oh, like... yeah, look, look. If this was a real internet competition, Pop Pop would have won 100%. <clears throat> I mean, yes. Like, everyone would have fucking yeah. meme chosen the fucking old man. That's right. This is this is how this is this is where I set this. This is how I know this is an unrealistic universe. When the old man did it with the internet contest. That's I mean, where I draw the line. I right? mean, everything I else mean, beforehand. Realistic for me to accept within a real world setting. But the what old I realized. Man it's over. <laughs> what I realized with with Molly and me watching it, she was like, "Okay, they're live streaming to who?" And I was like, "Well, they have ten million subscribers or whatever." And then I thought back to old Funhouse demo disc, 
And I thought, mm-hmm. this is truly a website where they would not have subscribers, they would have Scrobbles. <laughs> These would not be actual subscribers, they'd have some weird pseudo own version thing of like subscribers yeah like we've got 10 million fucking blasters they're just blasting off all of our bb's oh yeah we got 10 million bb's oh man look at all the bees i'm getting on my when you see something that you like you gotta be it when you really like it you bb it and when you Mm -hmm. don't like it that's when you hit them with a d the opposite of lowercase b I couldn't hit them with a Y. It's the opposite corresponding side to the alphabet. Uh, that's smarter than what I thought of. But they're not smart. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, hey, Javi's dad finally respects him and loves him and cares about him solely for the purpose of him winning winning a contest. Yeah, yeah he, um, he's living by his Look, look he children, didn't care so. for his son until his son was a success. Like, yeah, he, he, didn't, he didn't realize how right? important this music stuff was until he saw the that it was actually, like, getting him... Like, he was actually successful with it. Yeah, he was getting um, recognition and praise, and you know, like, I can live like, vicariously like, that's through what my every son. Parent, that's, to be fair, that's the parenting technique of every parent. You don't talk to your child until they're a success, right? Oh, yeah. For sure. That's absolutely true, <laughs> Mom. I just, over the past few episodes, I feel like Ollie and Amelia have <clears throat> just been... You know, getting real close. Oh yeah, you can tell like from the body language, even like She's, in this like, opening. Leaning that, towards him, like... like they have gone on secret dates. Oh yeah, they have gone on secret dates. Possibly are sleeping over at each other's houses and like going, oh, uh, the same clothes as yesterday. Yeah, I just thought Uh-oh. they didn't Uh-oh. smell. Hey, look, hey, look, as long as they keep, as long as they keep their personal lives out out of their business life, that's all that matters, right? I mean, so long as you don't have HR, it's not a problem. Yeah. Just like our job, but. Boy, is that green? Is that green napkins? I just realized that. What do you mean green napkins? When they show the... Ollie and Amelia, you see the napkin dispenser? Is that green napkins? Hold on. Hold on. I'm, uh... I Reverse. Oh, that's like, Enhance. Like a, minute, a minute 50 or some shit, right? Okay, hold on. I'm looking oh, at I'm, I'm his dad. Look at oh, him. Oh, yeah, those are green napkins. Oh, that's so fucking weird. Uh, no. Right? It could. Oh, wait. Yeah, I was going to say. I, it, no, okay, so I can't tell if it's the, like, lid of the napkin dispenser or it's actually, like, neon green napkins. No, those are neon green it, napkins. Because it, cause it, but it also looks so, like, matte finish, like there's no, no the texture is, to it. It's on one side that the napkins are popping out, and, and because they're green, they have it on I the think it's two-sided, because you oh, can no, see... Oh, it is two-sided, yeah, you get another shot. Yeah, from, uh, it's so... It's like That's so fucking weird. I never seen. But if you look at it, it doesn't look like paper texture. It looks like it's. Part it of looks like, like a, a the the casing or something, right? Yeah. So it's so fucking weird. Well, it's like she really has her hand on his thigh. Boy, hey, hey, this place yeah. kind of hey, secret hand happens. job. Oh great! Oh god! At yeah. the All right. Public table. Yeah. Oh, so anyway, no. yeah. So so yeah. So the guy the from dad. like three yeah. episodes ago steals steals a hobby song. Yeah. Right. Hey, uh, I've got to say, so, so Molly was the first one between the two of us to like notice him in the background because he's there from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, once again, the buzz blast background, uh, fucking wild. Mm-hmm. Uh, and at first I thought, boy, man, Dino Fury, we suck so bad that we are recycling fucking background characters and just throwing them in and saying. That's a totally different character. Don't worry about it. And then he actually, like, stood up and they were like, oh, it's the same guy. And I went, yeah, yeah, I was oh, amazed. Normally I was, they don't get recurring characters like this enough, right? Because they can't he, have the, they don't have the money to pay for this stuff, right? Speaking of that, you know what I realized that I really, I really mm-hmm. wish we had, their needs, uh, I guess Jane and Jayborg are this, but it's not the same. I was going to say, I really miss Bulk and Skull. They were oh, so miss- fucking yeah, stupid. I think about that a lot. <laughs> like, they were so fucking stupid and so weird. And they go through, like, so much, actually, of, like, the original Power Rangers, like, I think all the way, I think by the, I think, actually, in Dino Thunder, okay. they come back with Tommy. 
Like, they come back and, like, they're relevant for some... Or maybe it's... No, Samurai or something? Wild... I think they no, show up... No, you're thinking of Wild Force when they did that Power Rangers 10-year anniversary thing. And they have, I, like, think a there's... Scene. I think there's at least one episode in, like, Samurai... Yeah, no, Where no, no, yeah, Skull. yeah, they do sure. that because in uh, in Samurai they have a uh, they have Skull trained, tra no, they have Bulk trained Skull's son, and then at like the like during like Jesus. the season finale the they have Skull come back for like for like a cameo appearance, and that's it. Okay, because I was just yeah. thinking, because I think Skull or Bulk or something, I think Bulk is like a fucking like bartender or something in the like lost galaxy yeah, season yeah, yeah. uh-huh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's just right. like the fucking like talk about multiverse of just like bulk and skull are two characters that should have died like in fucking episode one and they just stay around and just continue to exist and it's like you just don't you just don't get that anymore you don't mm -hmm. get that like same kind I mean, of comedic kept, effect. They keep trying to get like these two cop. They keep trying to have like a two duo, right? Every mm -hmm. season that tries to create the formula, but it's obviously not the same. Yeah. Right, because that's why we have this season with Jane and Jay Borg. Yeah, right? but it's so like, wait, is he like? Are we just basically saying he just feels like they, those two ba are basically lightning in a bottle type of thing? Yeah, pretty Rangers? much. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like they're the perfect combination of incompetent. But also super overconfident, like and like mm -hmm. think that like they're hot shit and like they're antagonistic to not only the characters, like the when they're just themselves in high school, but they're like really look up to the Rangers and like there's just this. I mean, because they also develop the characters as well as the season goes on, right? Yeah. Right, so you don't feel as so, it, so, so. But the problem is with in these news, where they kept trying to do the two comedic duels, right? They don't do. They're just there as the oh, we're the two comedic duels for the season, right? So they don't develop them as hard, right? Yeah. Because Bulk and Skull actually go through like like they both of them go through like their whole character arc and everything throughout the show. Yeah, they have like moments the where they become like more like heroic, like. Yeah, like I don't remember if it's two bullies, right? Yeah, they go from they like two bullies. That, like, I think it's seasons as well, but it it doesn't. They don't do it as well. I think it's something where it's like, it might not have been the original like Power Rangers movie. Uh, it might have just been like in the series proper, but like they have moments where they're like, we've got to stand up and help the Rangers. Like they're mm -hmm. like they get like for all of their shittiness, like. They actually have... They're they're the... Like... They're the Team Rocket of fucking, like, Power okay. Rangers. Yeah, where yeah, they yeah. just have moments where it's like, every now and then you go, You're alright. I mean, you're trying to fucking, like, fuck up our plans a lot, and, like, you keep getting in the way. But, like... I see you. I respect you. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, we have Discount, Simon, Paul, and Randy, uh, here... Uh, judging everything because we needed a black person. Yeah. Cannot confirm oh, yeah. that he's way, not a slug. So here's the red of Easter egg. He's wearing a hat that they put in. Hiding right? a slug antenna. Uh, all three of the judges are named after the show writers, which, which is pretty funny. Oh. And... Uh... What? <laughs> yeah. Right. So... Oh, it's our guy. Yeah. Yeah, so because yeah, these are these are the three show writers for the season. They just show up and start. I I, I think it would have been way more funnier if it was like the actual show writers, right? But I was like, I, I mean, think good enough. I mean, I wouldn't know, but except if we hadn't found fucking Simon. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, it turns out that Area Sixty Two somehow still has internet access for Mucus to fucking watch this. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Not only internet access, but like every single one of the monitors. That look like they were made in 1957 mm -hmm. has like an HDMI or like internet converter. Surprisingly like, good quality yeah, on these TVs, man. Surprisingly. Yeah, it's not even. Yeah, it's not even like f like like staticky or anything. It's like it's like a little bit like fuzzy the image, but you're like I can. I can still tell what's going on it's here. It's still pretty good, yeah. right? The quality like, of these... It's really good for, like, how we're old, like, it's probably, like, what, 60... Maybe I'm, I might be overshooting it. 60, 50 years? Mm-hmm. You know? Right, right, yeah. 
But then mm-hmm. you know, uh, where where were we? Fucking uh, well, I don't. I still know. Uh, Void Queen just racially uh racially racially profile mushrooms, right? Yeah, I mean, listen, oh, okay, the Genius cool. Society, the Genius yeah. Society would never We're allow. We're skipping over how Pop Pop almost skewered a woman in the face. Oh yeah, we should definitely oh, yeah. talk about no, Pop Pop's superhuman She's strength. No, 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 no. Let's talk about this. All right, let's think about this from a physics perspective. Physics, okay. All right, yeah. Pop Pop is going so fast he fucking pops the violin string. Now that's fairly normal. Fairly normal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he well, is wait, also you going. Know this if you still had your demon that 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 plays musical instrument uh, like, near you, okay. right? He's right. he's 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 fiddling away, you know, going around being his old man self. How does he not hurt himself? Like he threw like, on his back doing a disco last episode yeah. for ten seconds, and but so, jumping around's fine. Yeah, he's he's hopping around being an old man, fucking pops a balloon, but then all of a sudden. He's fiddling, violining, whatever, so hard, like, his right hand forearm muscles are going so fucking strong that he launches it out, and it doesn't knock her hat off. It pierces through, which means that the fucking bow, I had to think about it for a second, Uh the Mm -hmm. bow of the violin is going... So fucking fast at such a force that it is like with such like aerodynamics that it is not knocking it over, but it is going at like a piercing strength through the hat like an arrow. His mm-hmm. right arm is operating like a fucking bow. Also, how heavy like, duty is this hat that it did just get? Not I mean, she's clearly from Texas or something, whatever the fuck they're trying to say. <laughs> no, she's from Bitch City. Do you see her face? It literally looks the same in every single shot. Yeah, yeah. she just, just seems annoying. The most resting bitch face. Although, to be fair, with Hop Pop... Or I mean, fair, she is Pop, judging an internet Pop, contest, Pop, and I'm sure she's not getting paid for this, Pop, so, you know... Well, oh, I'm sure. sure that she was asked if she wants to, so... Wow, hey, so speaking of our, our judges... Oh. Uh... Apparently, Simon Bennett just got to uh, accept a GLAAD award Yeah, mm-hmm. for standing kids and family programming. And, look, I think if there's anything to say about this season, yeah, sure, it's done well by Power Ranger standards for queer inclusion. I guess. Mm-hmm. I just wish it wasn't this season that had it. Okay. I wish it had been a more well-rounded season. Because I feel like... Or series. Because I feel like, honestly, by the end of this season also, especially with this last episode, I feel like this should have been the first season. Like, you Mm -hmm. include Ion in there, but, like, the things that get revealed in this season seem so much more, like, story-relevant than the things that were in the first season. Oh, Mm -hmm. I mean, for sure, because we had a lot more going on to help push, like, a narrative forward, finally, while in the first season it was just kind of meandering towards, like, maybe, like, we had, like, the first two episodes something happens then we have a whole bunch of character stuff right that they try to do for like building a team and then more plot stuff by the around the end of it and even then that didn't Mm -hmm. make sense and then here we're actually moving forward with a villain who's just like you know like well as much as i don't like how she just kind of suddenly be like became the villain first of all she's you know doing something she just walked in when this is mine now yeah i've been trapped in a cum jar uh, now uh, I choose vengeance. Now husband in the jar. Oh yeah. Well, also, hey, can we talk about how uh, uh, about how uh, fucking uh, uh what was it Park Warden Garcia right tried to do something about the, the about the song that he wrote? Yeah. Wait, hey, about park my park? authority is in, involving the park. I mean, I think it was more of like uh, as a father, like hold on, let me take care of this, and then he just with the same sad, petulant tone just goes, "Hey, that kid stole my son's song." Yeah. Yeah, like, that's that's yep. uh, that's dad energy right there, I suppose. I mean, I mean, 
big it's it's i don't know if it's dad energy so much as like dad like again vicariously living through his son energy yeah dad energy right oh that's, god that's exactly how all fathers are i and don't so, think so i also think that's really funny because technically javi does interrupt him therefore the song and set does get cut short i mean i'm sure he picks up from his stolen point <gasps> he's mule tender he's a mule tender what? Stolen Wait. Valor! Who's a mule? Oh. Dropout Boy! Yes. He does. He can't get into Fallout Boy, so he's Dropout Boy! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Blue Herd Guyliner, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Anyway. I will handle this professionally. Yeah. Hey! He stole my son's song! Oh my god, dude. Um, but anyway, yeah. Don't sing it everywhere, then! Honestly, yeah. yeah because it's, like, literally, he just had to sit around it for a few times whenever he's like... Singing for everyone else is just like, yep, and that's a song, and I go with it. Yeah. I wish that, like, in the last few episodes, or at least since we had, um, I wish, I wish this song had, like, shown up in some capacity mm-hmm. before... Like oh, whether okay, it was yeah, yeah. Oh, whether like it was like today at the song, like right? humming, like if if Javi if Javi was humming it or something like along the way, or like if he had if this had been like a, a like a sort of foreshadowing like built up like payoff thing, and like also if we had just again we've noticed that there's weird shit going on in the background of this show. If fucking Blue Boy had just been fucking, like, peeking oh, over shit, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like, because that would have been really fucking funny. I like and how ready s- mm-hmm. to fight him Izzy is. Oh, Izzy will well, let's fucking absolutely go. fucking... She dr- she was bound to, like, get in his face, but it's like, no, no. Like, it's like, I'll, I'll kill you, I'm watching you. I don't mean this as a derogatory stance. Izzy has the energy of, like, a a, like, hardened, like, all-women's bar, like, bartender that wears strictly denim jackets and has the most crew-cut hair and will fucking jump over the table and slam you into the fucking ground. Like, she is so fucking ready to go at any point in time. That's you don't walk into my that. bar, <laughs> hit on my girls, yeah, and just be a dick. Yeah. Get the fuck out. You don't walk into my bar, tell a bitch to smile, and think you can just... You think we let you... you, Oh, you gonna come in here and be a piece of shit? This is why we don't fucking... We don't take kindly to your kind. So we all saw you grab her ass, and I will be escorting you out the door. I'll be escorting you out the door via throw. (laughs) Like, bye. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Um, I wish she threw hands. That's uh, that's what I'm gonna... Oh, that's my stance. I mean, the thing is, Izzy is... Like, she track and field. Easy. We've already proven that she knows how to use a javelin. This boy would be fucking oh, yeah. skewered. <laughs> he'd be a fucking... Like, he'd be, he'd be fucking dead. But it would be... F- deck him. It'd be fucking Honestly. Final Destination 3, where the fucking, like, uh, not Ferris wheel, or what, like, light fixture or whatever, falls down and just spears a kid through the fucking chest. Did that happen in the third one? I'll never get it out of my mind. It was either the second or the third. I thought I thought that's how the first one. Well, no, they cut that off, so I don't know if they continue to end the second one because it's been a while. Because I remember that's how they ended the first one. Like it's whatever the one is where uh, there's the. I think it's the same one with like the the nail gun death and like uh, logs. And Why does the Buzz Blast logo cover it? the S in Songathon? Because now it just looks like Bongathon. I'll say that. Oh, it does. That's it. awesome. It just looks like Bongathon. That's fucking awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> like. Oh my yeah, god. I don't know if you thought this through, but your oh, BG yeah. <laughs> Buzz Blast logo in the corner over the S of Songathon just makes it a Bongathon. Yeah. <laughs> I will attend. But oh my god. I'll probably win that competition though. Oh, Yo, that's, that's fucking awesome! awesome. <laughs> that looks like don't think they thought this through. That. I really don't think they did. It's oh, especially about especially if you think about all right, all right. That's fucking great. So first of all, almost 
every fucking, like, whether it's a news channel or a fucking, like, web channel, puts their stuff in the lower right corner, right? Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. your Fox or News you put in the lower left. Mm -hmm. But, like... But we're fun, fresh, and new. We're you either... Up. You either make it fully, like, filled in, and you have, like, a lower, like, third Chiron, like, like scrolling, like, like, bit. Yeah, yeah. Or you make it way more translucent than they fucking did, which they the did not do. On. You can very clearly see the B real fucking there, up there over the text. God damn. So Holy I'm shit. So oh man. Welcome to the Bongathon. Well, it's a anyway. Yeah. Um, and they can't change it. Well, hey, so oh, Mucus hey, has a. King is here now. Yeah. Like Mucus has a genius idea. Yeah, decides to join the Genius Society and decides to copycat things. I don't really get how this is Void Queen, like, being one step ahead of her, because technically Void King only, unless she knew that Void King would be able to copy, like, Zato's abilities, it's not really, like, a copy of fucking, like, Zato or any of this other shit. Like, mm -hmm. and also... Anyways, domestic violence. Uh, yeah, this is also... <laughs> you're in the lightning box, I'm Yeah, mad. you stay in the... You stay in... You're gonna... Oh, it's like Django Unchained, where they keep the fucking... Where they keep Brumhilda in the fucking, like, hot box. Like, you stay there. You... You... You learn your lesson. I'm sorry, missus. I... I did, I done did a bad. I'm sorry. Please. Tarek is sorry. <laughs> I swear to God, if someone calls me Tarek, I'll fucking slap the shit out of him. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put that joke away for now. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, William. <laughs> do you want more poop on your doorstep? Look, here's the thing. If you're gonna do that anyway, then I don't think the, the, the increase would really matter much. I'm gonna, just gonna say that. Uh, I think it's more rude to drop flaming shit on someone's doorstep than a brick. Uh, I mean, that's so, like, I feel like you're gonna start a fire that way, right? Mm, there's any number of things One that you can start. Is much I, look, look, look William, as well, long as you the control thing. the fire, the you, you should be fine, you know, right? Annoying. Look, if, well, if, watching, that, but... if watching a uh, baby uh, re gender reveal has taught me anything, as long as you control it, it should be fine, right? <laughs> Be. Yeah. Should be, yeah. As long as you don't build a literal homemade bomb uh, and kill one of your family members, you should be fine, right? That's that's a meme. Uh, you know, never mind. I don't want to. I don't want to know. I really don't want to <laughs> oh, know. Don't, okay, okay. I'm I really go. don't. Okay. I really don't want to understand this. Okay, yeah, okay, yes, yeah, so okay, okay, okay. So Voiki kicks everyone's ass, right? And then he copies uh, the fucking strike attack, which is, I guess, sure, I don't. Yeah. Somehow. Uh. Between uh, this is this is an episode that is like very clearly like boy I, hey that's we have a lot of things talk. going on but I have gotta prepare boy, for I the can't big wait show to, to talk about the production of this episode and oh right yeah so right it's the, gonna the, be great the, the Sentai to yeah mm -hmm. yeah did so, we talk uh, yeah, about so, it enough last episode or not last episode with the night key. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that was really bad. This is, like, oh, yeah. weird. Mm -hmm. So everyone's knocked out, right? So, mm -hmm. so, uh, so Zeno's like, uh-oh, he copied my attack. I need to outthink him now, right? Yeah. Right, so right, right. then we go to this training montage, right? Where you think it's just gonna be Javi and Zeno fighting each other, right? Also, hold on, I wanna say, we, we're at this point... Again, if we're talking about, like, production stuff, where they're like, oh, vo this monster is at, um, uh, the, the fucking, like, the stadium, and it's two very clearly different stadiums. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't even know if it is a stadium. I mean, yeah, it's one of them kind of looks like a <laughs> fucking warehouse, but, like, yeah, the one in Sentai footage is, like, it's the stadium. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. This is the Sentai City. They always record shit here. Yeah. Right? 
Yeah, I recognize the stadium. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. So I want to get to this part. So this yeah. part is my favorite. So so Javi takes the Dino Knight key, right, and yeah. transforms. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. And then you see Zato fighting uh power of Javi, right? And yeah. then we cut to my favorite location in Sentai. Yeah. The, the valley. Random mountains and <laughs> valley right? and this like. Is, oh, so so. So I want you guys to try to guess what was the original context of this scene in Sentai. Okay. Uh, the context was mm-hmm. that the Ryu Soldier Black was fighting him uh, to prove that he was the truly powerful one, and that he could, okay. like anybody, anybody that used the armor could be strong. It's like it doesn't make him strong just for like. Okay. Okay. Using that, that's it. a good one. That's a good one. All right, that's good. What, what do you think the original um, context of this? I figured it'd probably be like you know, like rival bullshit, right? You know, like how like mm-hmm, rival. Like, okay. Oh, so you're still on this involves real soul black. Okay. Now, okay. I, I, I'm not gonna doubt you right now. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna condescend you because you don't know, right? right? That's a good one. Okay. So, so I want you guys to think about the theme. Hold on. Of- hold on. Okay. Girlfriend. Okay. No, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Molly lived up as much as. Molly can say anything, and she will probably be more... Go for anything. Yeah. Uh, but what do you think the original Japanese context of this scene was? Right? If you were to guess. Which scene are we talking about? Because I think we're... This one. Okay, this one. That's what I thought. I mean, the one I mean, they're fighting in the weird. valley. When they switch to the Japanese footage. I like to imagine it's, hey, I'm you from the future. It's me. Mm, okay, okay, that's, that's pretty good too. That's all right, so pretty wild. Right, so we know the theme <laughs> Look, of this me, season but you're is me, but I'm me. Mm-hmm. So we know the theme of this season is knights, right? Yeah. So William, you just don't become a knight, right? Like you just don't walk in and say, "Hey, let me be a knight," okay? You have to go through something. What, what do you start off as to a knight? Squire. squire. A squire, right? And that means you have a, you have a. Mm. Nave? A master? Yeah, that's right! <laughs> this is supposed to be a rite of passage scene in the Sentai. Oh. Uh... Right, because in the Sentai, the real soldiers are, are from a tribe, right? Of knights or some shit, right? So they're so they're not the so they're the current generation of the real soldier, right? And then they have their quote unquote the like their the previous generation, which they refer to as their master. Right, leader, right? Their trainer, right? So in the original, this scene was supposed to be a rite of passage scene for Real Soul Red to prove himself, like, oh, no, I can do this, right? Oh, okay. So they went, so they yeah. took that and made it into just a training montage, huh? Which yeah, I was like, wow! This, well, this was actually a very yes. important character moment within the original Sentai. It's yeah. real funny once you get when you actually start adapting stuff to see how much stuff gets lost or changed, right, in production, right? Mm-hmm. And this is actually wow, right? When I saw this scene, I was like, oh, because this was like one of the most be- this is like part of like one of the most important scenes within Real Soldier the Sentai. Right? It was like a pivotal moment for right? For the character. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so this way they just change. Hey, look, hey, look, let's uh let's uh look, look, let's not do two plus two. Let's do two plus two is five instead. Right, yeah. and that'll throw him off. That'll, that'll throw off a uh, void, void, uh, void king. Right. Uh-huh. Hey, girlfriend, yeah. let me borrow your phone for a sec. Okay. Oh. I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So then we find out that that you can only do your stupid strike attack, which I don't understand how this correlate with void king. To be honest, this seems like a really bad excuse when they said that. Like, oh, you can't do it twice. I was like. Okay, Voidex doesn't have to abide that by that rule. Just because he copies your moves, he doesn't have to abide by your stupid limits. Right? That's your limiter. Right? Voidex doesn't have this limiter. This was a really bad excuse that they use, right? Yeah, because it's like, it's based off of the claw thing, right? So mm-hmm. it doesn't feel like it should have to be, like, equivalent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for for when Void died, I was like, wait, this makes no sense. Why why would Void I have this restriction when he does it, right? This is your restriction. This is a really weird scene when they're like, oh yeah, I figured out the trick. I know how to get him now. I got him, right? Yeah, I he mean, can't do it twice. And there's also the fact that like the sporks like are an energy source of in and of themselves, right? That's like a thing, mm-hmm. right? And I, yeah, like, so I figured like 
maybe they wouldn't really need a recharge since they're like a continuous source of energy. But I don't mm -hmm. know. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, it's I mean, weird. it's it doesn't really explain what's going on with like Void King yeah. and all of this. Like, but I will say, like, junk was over here confuses me. Oh, you want to talk about? Do you, do we want to talk about him losing his junk? I'm just gonna keep calling him junk was. <laughs> in, in his in his in the ultimate arc of characters, she Void took... Knight went from trying to save his comatose wife to realizing his comatose wife was like. A little bit like psychotic, and then and, now taking your and then manly. getting your captured man. by his comatose wife and put in the jar. Uh, and now she's taking your penis. Yeah. <laughs> it truly is like an arc of characters. Yeah, there, she kind of freed her. Yeah. Then she turned on him, and now he has no penis. Uh -huh. Yeah, so and there you go. Uh, Void Knight runs away for the day. And, uh, yeah. And then... But yeah, Void Knight runs away for the day. Well, no, no. He's not Void Knight anymore. He's Void King. Oh, Void King. Void King. That's right. Which is a real downgrade from, like... Void Knight was, like, a better husband person than being married to this. Well, mm -hmm. now they're what both we monsters. Did? This is my weird husband thing. Now they're both monsters. She has yeah. flat porcelain titties, and he has flat porcelain dick. Yeah. Well, I suppose they match now. Yeah. Anyways, eventually people wake up and Ion has to check how many years he's been asleep. Yeah. And then Zato won a fight against a dumpster. Yeah, apparently Zato uh, comes out and he's like, hey, uh, I somehow I have burn marks through my, my helmet. You know, normal. Totally normal. Mm -hmm. mm, excuse me. Yeah. Well, um... <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> Hold on, sorry, I'm getting. Yeah. Oh, uh oh, oh, what's happening hmm? to William? Oh, what's happening to William? I'm getting a uh -oh. call for some reason. Give me a second. Oh, 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 his right is to just do a remix of the song. Yeah, I can do. I can do anything you can do that I did better. Right. So I was like, I don't think this beats this reached the lesson we were trying to do. It right? definitely felt like the wrong, like, way to teach a lesson. Like to like get the one up on. It's like. <laughs> If you just do the same thing, because like the reality is right, like if someone cheats off of your test and you go, "Well, I did the test better than them," it's like, "Okay, but you didn't write the test." Yeah, it's more of a. I That's... made a thing. Okay, well, I copied your thing. Okay, well, I'm going to make my thing even better then. Okay, okay maybe it's mm -hmm. like copying an essay. Mm -hmm. I guess. Like I guess. It's like he turned in his essay first, and then he went, "That's my essay." Or like, uh, let's say, like a, a presentation. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's what literally what the fuck happens. Yes. And then it's fucking choosing to, like, mm -hmm. uh, focus on the strengths that he had. Yeah, and like, fuck and like, choose to like put some spice into that presentation to like make it like authentically him and make it like better than that. Mm -hmm. Um. How many instruments can we play? A lot. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Is there four? Oh, there's a harmonica. I forgot about the harmonica. Harmonica. The guitar. Hey, at least they brought back the guitar. You know, if yeah. anything yeah. about the segment, they at least they remember stuff within the show that they established. I had really right? wanted it to be the guitar that he just. I wanted the new change to just be that he played it on the guitar, or that he made a new song specifically for guitar. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, there you go. It yeah, helps that it's the next day instead of the same day. I mean, yeah. I mean, he had to have that. I mean, at least I guess it was always going to be like a a two day thing. Yeah. Instead of just being like, we'll put you in the last slot today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I lit. Uh, I'm stupid, and the first thing that I thought when he said, like, when they said. Oh, we'll put you in the final slot. I thought it was like a tournament 
like like chart and is like, ah, oh, listen, someone stole your song. Straight to the finals. You'll you you'll get to the end. And it's like, oh, that's not what happened. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Anyways, last minute. Let's get to the real meat of this oh, episode. Oh, that's right. There we go. The last the surprise, minute. The surprise entry for the tournament. You yeah. Know, right? Yeah. Right? Tokyo Mew Mew. That was... <laughs> it's very strange. Was it? Mm-hmm. Well... It didn't... I enjoyed it. I no, thought it was like, a fucking it crap not, choreograph. Right. No, it's not, yeah. no, no, it's great. Like, don't get me wrong. It's just strange the fact that, like, considering the fact that, like, where did they get the production value for this, man? Look at them shuffle. Oops. All right. Well, I'm just, all right. It's just like. All right. Well, you wonder where to get the production value for? Where, where oh, do you think okay. they get any production value for this show? Money. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, and that's true. That it is for Look, money. Vegas yeah. clearly has hobbies. I'm just surprised right. that she's able to like spend money to you know m- make well pr- uh, have well produced hobbies. You know. <laughs> I just want to say, home. so they live in a warehouse. Austin, you have a better chance of knowing this than I do because I tried looking it up after this episode, but I didn't have time before we start recording mm-hmm. to like fully deep dive on this. Yeah, yeah. Does this shit happen, Ryu Soldier? Yep. But here's the thing. So there's hold on. Is there a full version of like mucus in the in the henchmen dancing? Yes. Uh, I, all right, that's what I was gonna get to. So, so right now in correlation with it, so we're at episode twenty eleven, right, of season two, right? Yeah, right and so right, right. we'll take episode thirty three, right? Right. Okay. Right? So and you we mean know that episode... there's another eleven? There's another eleven episodes. So no, you can no, say we're in like two, the last so third. We're in the last third of the show. Yeah. We're in the last third of the season, right? Okay. Yeah. Right? Where do you think this dance footage comes from from, from the Sentai footage in correlation? Uh, are we talking, like, like as in is, is, if it's featured in an actual episode? Because my initial thought was No, it is featured in an episode. But what episode, count do you think this dance sequence is in? If we're at the last third of the season, right? And we're adapting the last third of the Sentai now, right? So that means we're adapting, like, episode 30 to 40 from Sentai now, right? When do you think this dance footage would have been in the original Sentai, right? If we're in the, if we're in the 30s to 40s of, of adaptation right now. Oh, I don't know. I would imagine maybe like halfway through, right? Right. I would uh, say this, episode this, seven. This episode, like from episode, like mid twenties. This episode is from. I called it. Close enough. <laughs> I called it's, it. I, they just had this footage of like a completely different episode art. They just had ah fuck it. That's so Use weird, it. dude. I mean, look, they have it's this great. footage, you know? Hey, look, they, okay. Again, it's great. They bought just... the right to this footage. They own this footage. They're going to use it however they want. Toei can't stop what them was... because Toei's in Japan. Yeah, what was I the can't... context, though? Yeah, shake the feeling that, like, we've heard this song before. Yeah, I mean, it's like... the rhythm is so familiar. Right. Especially okay, for uh... an episode called The Copycat. Alright, this is the episode. You guys uh, you guys can do with this later. Mm, mm, I was going to mm-hmm, post that in the group mm-hmm. chat. So, so nobody feels like they've heard this before. Heard this before, or been they, like this Probably? absolute banger has come out somewhere. Like we've seen something like this before, like dancing and mucus. I think. Sorry. Hmm? Uh, what was that? I'm trying to figure hmm? it out. Well, to be fair, I have this episode on mute. That's why I can't. I can't. No, no, you don't need to. You don't need to listen to the song because. This is the same song. This is the same really? song from Mucus's Fever Dream. Oh, is that what this from? Oh boy. Yeah. Mucus's Fever Dream has come to fruition. Oh. And she has. She had to cut back on background dancers and cut yeah. the costume budget, but. But she's upped in choreography. Mm-hmm. And got a smoke machine. And a, a smoke machine, lights, and a designated space for it. Mm-hmm. These fucking henchmen right. shuffle like crazy. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Look, look. Hey, look, look. That look, look. The hen, look. That the henchmen exist for 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 them to use however they want. You know, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, but don't worry. Uh, Wreckmate comes in and murders someone live on TV. Yeah. So yep. Hey, warning to oh. warning to some audiences. This might be graphic. <laughs> but like right graphic. center camera, like pop. Yeah. Splatter, like, like fucking Nickelodeon ooze. Yeah. 
And then, I mean, did things were like someone else, like, uh oh, cut away from that. Cut away from that. Right? I uh, can't show a side person getting killed on TV. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, oopsie. Well, um, what we know about Mucus is she tends to reform. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, hey, it's not about how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get up. Get back up again? Yeah. Why is this trophy so big? Um, because they took a sports trophy and made it about music. I think it's so that... Hobby oh, man, I didn't even out. realize the fucking Ollie, Amelia hug, like, deep hug that happens. These two are gonna fuck so hard. They've been fucking. Anyways, I like that guy who just goes, I love you! Yeah, someone just randomly in the crowd says, I love you. Yeah, truly. And, and and this is where I draw the line of this episode when 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 Pop Pop didn't win, even though he deserves it more than anyone else. Right? Listen, he's only even got so we... much time to live. He needs to get those wins while he can. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the trophies are beating Blair's head in, or whatever the fuck his name is. Oh yeah, they definitely said it was like Blair or whatever. Anyways, yeah. trophy. Yeah. Anyway, again, uh, oh. Javi's sad dad decides to continue to live vicariously through his son and take mm -hmm. a terrible selfie many selfies yeah. actually if you look at the number of times it looks like he's pressing the button oh yeah he's trying to see which angle works the best oh he's oh he's trying to figure out how, <laughs> how to actually take a selfie it's yeah like the, it's like you know that parent who just started figuring out social media and just started oh every single yeah detail of it's life. definitely yeah. like but that first let me figure out selfies <laughs> but is first this, let me try to take a selfie on am i Am I FaceTiming you correctly? Yeah. Right? It's Have you... Am I... Am I timing your face on my space? Mm-hmm. Uh, am I sending these emojis to you correctly? Kids love using emojis nowadays. This is starting to hurt right? me. I... I bought some peaches at the store. Here are some peaches. I'm sending you through... through and I'm text. thinking about doing some Come barbecue eggplants later. at home. Peach emoji, peach emoji. Some barbecue eggplants are uh, are I gonna be laughing. cooked. I'm glad I, I have, I I unironically have a, my godmother, uses the upside down smiley face, to a questionable degree. I do it when I don't know how to reply to people. It's like, uh... I don't know what to reply with, I'll send you that. Right! That's how I would understand it. But she just says it in, like, regular, like, no, conversation ago. Are... Yeah. Uh, I don't... You what guys ever just happened? look at the emojis and go, why are there so many? When did this happen? Why did this oh, happen? Well, Remember when well, there used to just be the simple ones? Like, uh, we have a society evolved. Yeah. We have evolved into an emoji society, alright? Yeah, we're right back into Egypt society. We are the Moon Knight. <laughs> alright. Is that where it is? I'm ready to get on. We're yeah, I think we are the Moon Knight. Uh, can't right. wait for the second half of season two. Yeah, hey, part... by the way, uh, season one. Uh, no, this is so not confirmed part when it's two. Air, We're waiting for part so... two of season two. Yeah, right. Of so uh, of this. Sorry, oh I no, I was like, about Moon Knight. what's oh, yeah. the next? Uh, what's the next? Uh, in between season, we have show we have to record as a fucking as a fucking thing to stall for until this comes back. I'll tell I you hope what, it won't be Girl fucking... eighty two is, is airing right now mm, on the Bandai oh, Spirit oh, oh, channel. Why? Oh, by the way, they took those videos down. I found out. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Oh, did they? Yeah, I try. I tried to go. I tried to find them because I was looking for a. They took off Gun Girl Lady. Yeah, uh, you cannot watch Gun Girl Lady anymore. Yeah, uh, for some Damn. reason. Damn man. You know, uh, not really a loss. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, we all have to make sacrifices. Some so sacrifices I... are uh, <laughs> beneficial. Okay. All right, so I don't trust IMDb's review of the seven point five out of ten. Try to guess the Google show a uh, percentage of this thing. Point five. <laughs> of okay. wait, of who? Of Girl Gun Lady or Gun? Gun uh, girl Gun Lady. 7%. 3. Okay, 7%. Out of 5, I guess, is what I mean. So 60%. I'll say 60%. Alright, that's pretty... Okay, okay. Maybe you have a number? Hmm. Uh, William? Yeah, yeah, you have a percentage. Well, what do you think the percentage online review is? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, like, fucking 50 Okay, but you're the closest. 
Forty-six percent like this show on Google. Damn. For, well, I'm sorry. What? That's too many. Damn. They wow. Did they get rid of my review of Girl Gun Lady? Did they? Hey, oh, that looks. Like to be it. fair, to be fair, yours was a direct fucking counterpoint to a fucking incel. It was great. Sometimes you need that. Yeah, hey, to be fair, his reviews are gone too. So I mean, so, hey, look, look, if you're gonna go scorched earth, just took all if you're gonna go scorched earth, it makes sense to take away his and then your subsequent response. Mm-hmm. But but the funny is my response was left later, right? Was up for like a while later. I don't know when to review this, but I think it's pretty funny how there's actually only one user review on Girl Gun Lady now. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, this person doesn't uh, doesn't know shit. Yeah, this person is saying it's a good show. You're a fucking idiot, wherever you are. Yep. All right. All right. Hey. All right. Hey. Uh, hey. Stay tuned next week when we review Girl Gun Lady again. Nope. That's not happening. Coronavirus is still like wash as warm as get your shots to boost us. I think right now. Okay, thanks, bye.